and I definitely prefer this brow to that brow. I did this one better, way better. Hi there, welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely week. In this video, I'm looking at the newness from Brows and Tom Ford. So I've got the Brow Pomade here, which comes in five shades, and also the Brow Perfecting Pencil, which are also called the Microblading Pencil. I'm gonna tell you all about these and also show you them in action, so keep watching. So this video is quite a challenge for me because I am not good at brows. I always forget to do my brows. I'm the person that basically ends up going out, going, oh, I haven't done my brows, and then looking really close and seeing that I've got foundation in them and it's not a good situation. But when someone does my brows, it makes so much difference. So I was really excited to try these new products from Tom Ford. I'm gonna try and try them both together, although they're not designed to be used together, but hey, you'll get to see them in action. So starting off with the Brow Perfecting Pencil, which is this. It has a super fine pencil, sorry, this side, which I hope you can see. That's a 1.55 millimeter point which they're also called, this is the Brow Perfecting Pencil, but they're also calling it Tom Ford Microblading Pencil, which is rather exciting. Although microbraiding, microbraiding, microblading is something that I'm, I've seen it done badly and I've seen it done really well, so kind of scared of. But yes, I'm gonna give this a go. This shade I've got is Torp 03. It comes in blonde, Torp, chestnut, espresso, and granite. So I'm taught. I could probably do with a, diff a darker colour. I've gone, gonna have swatches on the blog for you, which I'll link to, a swatch of just this shade of the top, which is a nice, easy to use one. On the other end is a really nice spoolie. So I'm gonna start off with just brushing these bad boys up. Every time I see a makeup artist, they tell me that I need to get rid of these brows here, but I, I haven't done anything to my brows for a long time and I kind of get used to them just being a bit messy so I think if I was going to I'd just literally just pluck these tiny ones here but other than that I'm steering well clear right so here we go I'm just gonna like draw these in it's a very fine fine pencil I'm gonna Just do really light strokes all the way through. I have some kind of gap, gaps here, so I'm just gonna, I mean, again, I'm not professional. I'm really not, this isn't my thing, so if I can make this work, anyone can. But it is, I do like it when I've just kind of shaped and defined my brows. We'll see if you can see a difference. Definitely not applying too heavily, which can make it look really unnatural. And it's a really nice spoolie, and that I do know. Okay, so there's that brow. I'm just going to do this brow for now because I'm just thinking that will show, be able to kind of give you a better idea this product is like I feel like it's quite natural so yeah this is kind of like my comfort zone because it's defining them without really making too much impact so I just feel like that's a fresher look on this side of my face and that this pencil is 32 pounds which Fairly pricey, but then it's Tom Ford. So you know what it's like. So, but before I go any further with doing both brows, I'm going to try this on this brow, I think, because I'm probably, that's probably done there. So, right, this is the brow pomade. Again, I've got shade Torp, which is waterproof, buildable, and setting. So, I'm going to try that on this brow. So this boasts a creamy, buildable and blendable formula, multitasking, waterproof and humidity proof, which I appreciate at the, in this weather at the moment. It's super, super hot in London at the moment. So this is promises a natural yet sculpted look. So it says you can use it on its own or follow the Tom Ford Fibre Brow Gel, which I loved actually. I wish I had that still. Right, I'm just gonna use this angled brush 
and go in with it again don't judge me i'm no brow expert at all even a tiny bit Mm, it clings very nicely to the brows. I definitely feel that's giving more volume. So actually finding this remarkably easy to use. It's just gone straight in. It clings to the brows beautifully. And I kind of feel like I've made a better shape than with the sculpting pencil which I did also really like but I feel like that brow pomade is just shaping my brows more for me naturally okay I love that and it feels like it's feels like there's very light there's like there's nothing there but it feels like it's set into place yeah I like that I'm gonna go in on this brow now with this even the mark because I feel like this gives a more voluminous look or the way that I've done it has anyway yes I mean I think maybe the pencil and the uh, the pomade is too much on this one but this brow I love yeah, so that's that one. That, this one. So this one's got two products on it. It's got the Brow Perfecting Pencil and the Pomade, and this one's just got the Pomade, and I think I've done a better job on this eyebrow, but they both, I'm happy with those. This stuff is, it just is so easy to apply and cl it clings really well. So I think that is brilliant for these hot summer days. Really impressed with that. I haven't tested it out in a hot summer day, but I can feel that it's very, it sets really well. So. I'm going, when I write my blog post, I'm going to include that because this is going to get tested in a hot summer day, basically. And the pencil, I think, is really nice for like, subtle definition and maybe something not quite so structured, just for filling. If you've got any gaps, this would fill it beautifully because it's really nice and fine. I'll just show you. Very light. This I like because I think it gives such a youthful bushiness. I love that. And this I think great for like touch-ups during the day, something more more of a subtle brow. And of course it's got the most gorgeous spoolie. So I think they could be used in conjunction. Now the brow pomade is how much? Guess. 32. So yeah, they're 32 each. This one is gonna last you forever. I use the tiniest, tiniest amount. So that's amazing and again I actually I actually like this shade top on me I feel like I do really like that this kind of bolder brow look I just need to remember to do it so these are out now I'm going to link to where you can pick those up the pomade also comes in blonde top chestnut espresso and granite so you will find ones to go together if you wanted to yeah really happy with those i'm going to link to the blog post it's got all the information and include how i got on with how this wears as well so make sure you pop over there to read up on that and yes that's it thanks for watching let me know if there are any videos that you would like me to create for you because i am up for doing that need to supply that demand you know and if you need to know about what's on my face I shall list that for you too below don't forget to ask me any questions you can leave them in the comment section below or you can also talk to me on Twitter and Instagram it's at really thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye now